the okay. second okay. thing. Okay. 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 Let's, let's you try this one. Okay. Then I also take it. Okay. Oh, really? Like group pressure. Okay. <laughs> uh, hi, my name is Jenny. I'm from Germany, and uh, I arrived in Japan at the 22nd of December, and I'm going to stay until the 22nd of January. Hi, my name is Helena. I'm also from Germany. Uh, we actually know each other. <laughs> We're friends back home. Uh, I arrived at the 2nd of January and today is actually my last day in Tokyo. I'm doing a study abroad in South Korea, so I came to visit for a few days. Oh, I see. Um, hi, my name is Paula. I'm from Spain and I've been here also like Helena from the 2nd till tomorrow. Wow. Looks like water. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Prost. <laughs> you could taste that it's coming from rice. Yes. Yeah, that's not strong. I like the flavor actually. Yeah, it's not bad. It's quite sweet, mm -hmm. but it doesn't burn too. It's like it's pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> like smooth, right? Yeah. 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 I like it, like it's not bad, but I think it was way too strong for me. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, it was kind of strong, I, th I feel like. You know, deep fried pork and cabbage, miso soup, and rice. These are like kind of pickles, mm -hmm. like Japanese pickles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are so, we supposed to mix it? Like? Um, no, actually we have some sauce for oh. pork. So just you just it yeah, pour it over the, the pork. You go first. <laughs> I go first. Yes. Ooh. Oh my god, you're still too fast. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, let's go for it. Yep. Okay, I spread it. Spread it for a minute. I like the sauce. Yeah, it's really good together. It looks a bit different than a German schnitzel. The tie is close because that schnitzel is also pork. Mm -hmm. But like um, the surface looks yes. different and it also tastes different. <laughs> and I feel like it's also similar to in a Spanish dish, like we also do this with meat, but like it's true like the breadcrumbs are really really different. And also the sauce, like I've never tried anything like this sauce before. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> but I think it's great, I like it. But do you have any name of, of the foods similar to this sauce? Um, like we chicken? call this, uh, when we do it with breadcrumbs, we call it filet de empanado. <laughs> so we basically use like mm. any type of meat and then we put it like with egg and breadcrumbs wow, and then we fry nice. it. <laughs> you look like you're enjoying it a lot. <laughs> mm. I really like it. What I really like about the Japanese kitchen that most dishes are not only healthy, they also have a really wholesome feeling when you eat it. So it's not only good for the body, but also for the soul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh God. Eat, eat, eat. That's a nice comment. <laughs> Actually, in the morning I came from Osaka. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so you spent the new year in Osaka? Actually, I spent the new year in Kanazawa. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm traveling around a lot. Wow, yay. And also went to Yokohama, but also to the Tochigi Prefecture. Between Christmas and New Year's Eve, um, I, uh, I was mainly in the Nagano Prefecture. For me, it was clear that I wanted to go to Tokyo mm. because I've always wanted to go here and it's so <laughs> close. So if you're in the area, right. you should go. I will definitely come back though. Yeah, same. Mm -hmm. I want to come in the spring because everyone says it's really beautiful during the spring. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it's also very mm. expensive. Cherry blossom season. Oh, yes. We need to go. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next year, but this year. Uh -huh. They also have the Olympics, so it's. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's true. Expensive. <laughs> yeah. I think full of people. Yeah, it's yeah, going to be Tokyo. It's going to be Tokyo, right? Yeah. Oh, there's also not many trash cans in here. Right. It's like you have to carry your trash around. Yeah. <laughs> also, there's many vending machines in here. Oh, yeah. We're always <laughs> like, every time we pass by, there's like another vending machine, and we're like, oh. Also, something different is the convenience stores. We don't have anything like this mm. in Europe, I feel like. That's different between Japanese convenience stores and like European convenience stores. Mm. 
Mm, we don't really have them, like we just have supermarkets. I don't know, in Germany, if you really need something and everything else is closed, you go to the gas station. Yeah, and it's gas really, station. Yeah, and it's really expensive there. Mm. So, I don't know. I'm like from a really, really small town. Mm. So, for me coming here, it's like it's such a big city, it's so different <laughs> from what I'm used to from home. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy it. The stores at home, they usually close around 8. And the big supermarkets, they close at 10, I feel like. Mm -hmm. And in Germany, on Sundays, everything is closed. Yeah. Mm. I think for me it's kind of different. I am from Madrid and I'm from a big city as yeah. well. And kind of like the shops close later than in here. I, they close at around 12, uh, more or less. Because so you guys have dinner pretty late. Yeah, time. we have dinner at like 10, 10, 9, 10, yeah. Right. So all the restaurants are open until yeah. 12, more or less. And in here, the other day we wanted to go eat sushi and it was like 10. It was like my time to <laughs> go dinner and everything was closed. Right. And I was like, okay. But also, I think like here, Tokyo feels bigger because all the buildings are super, super high. Like I'm not used to those kind of high, high buildings. Mm -hmm. That's still that. We miss you. Yeah. Yeah. What is Try. that? Plum liquor. Oh my God. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> A lot of girls like it. Ooh. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> Oh my god, it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> you can get drunk on that easily. You don't like, like it? it? No, it's too sweet. Too sweet. Mm. Oh, oh my god. god. I, I like sake. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Like it's the really liquor. strong. I like that better than the sake. <laughs> yes. Like alcohol. Uh, so, so when we're partying, like party. she just hands me drinks, she mixes it, and she's like, wow. yeah. Mixing it. yeah, you will like stress. it. I'm like, okay. I literally only drink beer. <laughs> oh my god, Paula. <laughs> yeah. No I not that much unless you go out clubbing, because like we use drinking more as a social mechanism. Mm -hmm. so you yeah. go out with your friends, you drink some beers, but normally it's beer. In summer, sometimes in Korea. Also, what I get asked a lot is if in Germany the beer really is cheaper in restaurants than water. Mm. And it depends on where you go, but sometimes it really is cheaper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> Drink it. Yeah. Shut, shut, shut. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like iced tea. Yeah, it tastes completely like iced tea. <laughs> iced tea? Yeah. Really? <laughs> this is horrible because you can get drunk so easily with this. Yeah. Um, where did you go for sightseeing in Tokyo? Uh, Asakusa? We went to yeah, Asakusa, then we went to Harajuku, Harajuku. Shibuya, uh, Shinjuku. Here. Yeah, Kabara. Here, yeah. <laughs> and Odaiba, you went to the design lab, right? What? Odaiba? So you went to team level? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. It was very beautiful. Yeah, it was awesome actually. Like we took so many pictures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so many foreigners. Yeah. yeah. Taking pictures a lot. Yeah. Uh, it's so hot. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> Burn your if I go to Germany, which area should I go for? Sightseeing. What do you recommend? Bavaria. Where were you? Düsseldorf. Düsseldorf. And Köln. There's also the Neuschwanstein Castle. Oh. This one is pretty famous right. in Asia. Like, look at pictures. The castle is Neuschwanstein. Is this also near the Bavaria? Yeah, this is in Bavaria. If you want to go like to a more modern city, like I think Berlin is pretty good. Yeah, there's also a lot of fashion and diversity. Oh. Yeah. Especially like you can see the the wall. Also how it developed and you really can see the difference between the east and the west because we still the east part. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. East Germany was very poor yeah, yeah. because of the war. Right. Um, and then under the Russian government, like they were really poor and like they still struggle a bit. Like the West still has to keep building it up and like repairing it. And reunify, but there's still some yeah. Yeah. Still some problems. <laughs> yeah. In Spain, it kind of depends on what kind of tourism you want to make. If you want to see like something more cultural, I would say go to the south, like um, Andalusia, Granada, Seville. Uh, they're like very touristic points mm -hmm. because they have a lot of um, cultural places yeah. to visit. And also, if you want to go to the more modern, beautiful cities, you should go to Madrid, Barcelona. Those are also the most touristic places. Mm -hmm. I feel like Madrid is also really good to like go to museums. There are many interesting museums, but I feel like for younger people, they would like places like Majorca, Ibiza, because it's like beach, party yeah, yeah. and stuff right. like that. And in the north is because there's like the St. James uh, walk. You basically go from the south Saint of James? France. It's just walking, walking from all the north of Spain. And you end up in, um, in like what it was called the end of the world. So it's kind of interesting and also if you see the sunset there it's really really pretty so yeah we recommend going there. I actually went right before coming to Isha. Yeah. Wow. But there are actually a lot of Japanese people trying to settle down in Spain just because of football. Yeah. Is it big in Spain? Whenever there's like Madrid and Barcelona, like Madrid and <laughs> both of them, it's like I think everyone watches that because oh. my family is not super into football but we still like have a team and we also have t-shirts and yeah. uh, things that I like about Japan but there are also a lot of things yeah. I like about Germany and especially when it comes to working I really need to read yeah. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> yeah that's something a lot of foreigners are talking about like kind of when they come here to work yeah. they kind of worry because of that working style so are you gonna graduate this year um, or next year? I'm graduating next semester so I'm just seeing all the possibilities. I don't know what I want to do or anything. So I actually really like Japan. I was like telling her all the way like, oh my God, I really like this. So we'll see because we also have to do our masters and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I feel like there's a lot more opportunities to study and it's also, it's not as difficult as when you're here working. And also you can experience the culture more than if you're just here for a few days. Right, right. So yeah, I would actually like to do that because I feel like it would be a whole new experience. I mean, in Tokyo, I think it's okay not to speak Japanese because mm, there are so many people. Yeah, there are most so many people, people, people speaking like English. So. If oh. I come here, I would like to learn at least you know, yeah. the language. But on the other side, for me as a learner, uh, being in Tokyo, sometimes even if my pronunciation isn't that bad and people understand me, they straight answer me in English. And this is something I don't really want. And even if I'm trying, they, they also approach you in English and they're answering in English and they straight give you an English menu even if you don't ask for it, even if you say it. Oh, yeah. Actually, I think like that can be a bad thing, but also can be a good thing. Like for example, if you were in Spain, people would just assume that you should be able to speak Spanish. Yeah. So uh -huh. they would just talk to you in Spanish, but in here at least they kind of try to communicate with you. I feel like that that's a way for them to, to be nice to foreigners and to try to engage with the conversation with the conversation with them. Yeah, a lot of people also approach you just because they want to practice their English. They, um, I have this situation like in Korea, in Greece and also in Japan like once already. Um, where people came to me just on the street, straight up talking to me like, hey, I want to practice my English, can you maybe meet up with really? coffee yeah. or something? Oh my god, that has happened to me as well. Wow. That's, I think that's, that's pretty common. That's I don't know brave. Why. I mean, me, me yeah. <laughs> I ask you for on the streets, so I can say yeah. that. I don't ask yeah. them to speak. Yeah, no, English. English. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. My stomach is happy, my soul is happy, and my heart is happy. Oh. I really enjoy the food, it's very 
wholesome and yeah, just something I'm really missing when I'm back in Japan. I mean, it's basically the same. I really enjoyed it. I love the Japanese kitchen yeah. and I love exploring actually kind of other cuisines mm -hmm. of the world. So I'm definitely down for coming back and, yeah, yeah. and exploring. You guys have to come back. Yeah. <laughs> Stay, not to visit. Stay. <laughs> um, yeah, I also enjoy the food. Uh, a lot and I'm like looking forward to, <laughs> to try this beach yeah. drink yeah. again and yeah that's it <laughs> okay. thank you, thank you.